what's going on guys? This is Joey Young coming at you another video today. Today uh, I wanted to share a documentary that I just finished watching. It's called Chasing Coral. This documentary was on Netflix. It literally just came out um, yesterday on Friday. Uh, I ended up watching a little bit of it yesterday and I finished it up uh, not too long ago today. Um, it's a really good documentary especially for um, you know all the people who are into reef or into saltwater. Uh, and especially for the people that are into freshwater as well, it really affects like everybody. Documentary really um, is trying to um, get people aware of what's happening around the world with global warming. You know, global warming is, is a real thing. You know, a lot of people out there uh, say that it, it's not or it's a fake or whatever. It's, it is a real thing. We have a lot of data that proves it and actually shows that. Um, but what's happening is, um, you know, due to high CO2, in our atmosphere it causes global warming as you know uh, water kind of retains heat and actually absorbs you know the heat um, and a lot of that global warming effect goes straight into our oceans first before we're actually uh, affected in terms of like the land and if you ever kept any corals you know that they're really sensitive to higher temperatures bleaching occurs when a, a coral is stressed and you know that's due to environment or it's due to temperature increase and they basically die so this documentary does a really good job of trying to gather data from all around the world not just specific locations to show that you know throughout the years you know corals are literally dying across the world and not just one location. They said something like 65% of the Great Barrier Reef is already dead, which is insane because like one of my dreams or one of my goals in life is to go and visit the Great Barrier Reef. And you know, I might not even get a chance to, to actually even see it, which is really, really sad. So yeah, um, it's a great documentary, like I said, you know, share it with everybody, you know, share it with people who aren't even in um, the reefing community or even in the aquarium community, just to get people aware of like the issue. The one thing the documentary doesn't cover is um, uh, ways that you can help um, with global warming, obviously, you know, being aware of global warming, going out there and trying to fight for renewable energy usage and whatnot. So um, a couple of things that, you know, me and you can do as an individual is, you know, contribute by, you know, driving less whenever it's needed, carpooling, um, moving to an electric or a hybrid car so that you don't have to burn, um, you know, gas. If you mow your lawn, if you own a house, if you mow your lawn, go electric, weed whacking, same thing, you know, try to be smart with that. And I was sitting back and I was thinking as I was watching this documentary as, you know, seeing a bunch of, you know, the corals disappearing and seeing a bunch of these um, corals just dying, uh, species, mass species just dying, is what can we do as uh, a hobbyist in the reefing world, right? A lot of us, you know, we go and we buy a bunch of these frags, we grow them out, and um, I think that right there um, is really key for the future because if if all of the reef and all of the coral ends up dying where can we you know reestablish or where can we um, do a jump start if you know we can never get global warming uh, down to where it was uh, is through us hobbyists you know we grow them we frag them you know uh, that's another way right keep fragging them keep selling them to the hobbyists so that people don't pull corals from, you know, the wild so that, you know, it's already depleting enough, but, you know, keep maintaining the, the corals and one day, you know, we may have to jump in uh, as a whole uh, community to try to, you know, bring back the reefs. Didn't want to do like a depressing video on it, but um, it's, it's real, you know, um, just get people aware of it, you know, make sure you guys check it out. It's really, it's really great. Um, they did a really great, you know, documentary like pictures images were amazing it, it looked like it was CG which was crazy because it was so like close to some of the the corals and whatnot it's it's really nice so anyways if you guys don't have Netflix I think you can get like a month for free so just sign up watch the show and watch some other stuff and just cancel it it's like 
no obligations, right? If you have it, you know, go ahead and just add it to your, your playlist or whatever and, and check it out. Once you guys watch it, you know, come back, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, let me know, you know, what other great ideas that we can do as a whole to try to um, prevent and help with global warming. All right, guys. Until next time, guys. Peace. Thank you.